Hi guys and welcome back to Gentleman. My name is Hazal and today's video is going to be about the different types of accommodation offered to BART students. The two types of accommodation offered to BART students are either Floyer House, which is based in Whitechapel, or Dawson Hall, which is based in Charterhouse Square. So for my first year at Barts in London, I stayed at Floyer House accommodation and I really liked it. And in my opinion, it is actually better than Dawson Hall accommodation. However, I'm going to give you an unbiased video on the pros and cons of both accommodation so you can make up your mind yourself. When it comes to location, the Floyer House accommodation is found in East London in Whitechapel, whereas the Dawson Hall accommodation is found more centrally in Barbican. Barbican is a much nicer area than East London, so this is something you may want to consider when applying for your accommodation. However, there is a big pro with staying at Floyer. The biggest pro for me and what sold Floyer to me was the fact that Floyer House is literally two minutes away from the lecture hall two minutes away from the garage building where we have our PBLs and two minutes away from the library. So everything is literally within a two to three minute radius. And for lazy people like me, it means that I can leave my room at 8.55 and still make my 9 a.m. lecture. So that is actually the biggest difference between Floyer and Dawson. You have to pick between either being really close to your lectures or being in a better part of London. So it depends on what you prefer, but I definitely prefer being closer to my lectures. Floyer House accommodation is actually really close to the Royal London Hospital, whereas the Dawson Hall accommodation is really close to the St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Floyer House and Dawson Hall are quite different in size. Dawson Hall is a much larger accommodation with more number of floors. I believe there are seven to eight floors in Dawson, whereas there only being five floors in Floyer. And also another advantage that people at Dawson have is the fact that they have a lift in their accommodation. Now you may think this is not a big deal, but for someone who lived on the fourth floor of Floyer House, I had to walk up four flights of stairs every single day, at least once or twice, just to simply go to get something from my room or go get lunch between lectures. People at Floyer had to go through those staircases and honestly, it is character building. Another difference between the rooms in Floyer and Dawson is the fact that most rooms in Floyer are guaranteed to have a sink, whereas in Dawson, you may or may not have a sink. And this is quite a big issue, especially because all the rooms in both Floyer and Dawson are non ensuite so they are shared bathrooms. So in Floyer, you can have your own wash basin and have that bit of privacy, whereas in Dawson, you may not get this. The standard room sizes in both Dawson and Floyer are pretty much similar. However, in Floyer, they do also have very, very large rooms as well. Like my room, which I'll put on screen right now, was quite large compared to all the other rooms found in Floyer. The kitchens within Dawson were refurbished in 2015, so their kitchens are much nicer than the kitchens found in Floyer House. In Floyer, you'll have to share your kitchen and your bathrooms with around five to eight people, whereas in Dawson Hall, you have to share from between eight to 14 people. Comparing the prices, they are quite similar for both Floyer and Dawson. However, Floyer was a bit cheaper because it was based in East London. Considering the fact that Dawson Hall is based in central London, the accommodation is really cheap and you're never gonna get an experience like that to live in central London for that cheap ever again, basically. In Floyer, we did have a communal garden which was found at the center of all the rooms. However, this is nothing compared to the large gardens they had at Dawson. Dawson was a really nice area with really nice gardens and greenery everywhere, however, it was far from the lecture hall. Compare this to Floyer, Floyer wasn't the most best looking place. It was quite ugly, both on the inside and the outside. However, this was quite character building and it was just so close to the lecture hall. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say when it comes to comparing Floyer and Dawson. It may sound like Dawson is a lot better because it probably is in terms of location. However, Floyer is just so close to the lecture hall and everything else that you need to be close to that it just makes it worth it. I'll be putting up a few more pictures and clips of both Floyer and Dawson now, and hopefully this can help you make Make your decision on which one to go to.
we're in Dawson, they have a, wait, explain it, they have a prison side and, and a sunny, sunny side. side. So the side we were in, which is, wait, it was not there, that's prison side. This is sunny side. Look how much better the corridors are here. Oh, this is like a proper bathroom. But they don't have six in their rooms. I hope this video has helped you decide which one you would like to attend. Please make sure you let us know down below which one you decide to pick. Please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe and also turn on your post notifications. We'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye!